AI has been a reliable supercharger for some stocks this year. Many names associated have soared higher, but the FTC could be hitting the brakes on the frenzy, opening an investigation into open AI related to consumer privacy, as well as a data leak in March. Meanwhile, a new artificial intelligence competitor announced this week, Elon Musk's XAI. He's live right now on Twitter Spaces detailing that product. Our next guest also launched an AI product this week. Joining us now is Anthropic co-founder Daniela Amode. Uh, Daniela, great to have you. Uh, yeah, Anthropic is, is all the talk in the AI ecosystem. First, tell us how Anthropic's approach is different and to what extent you're looking to partner with major enterprise companies like Intuit we just had on uh, to, to spread AI in a responsible way. Hi, John. Thank you uh, so much for having me here uh, on the program. And so, uh, you know, you might have heard we launched uh, Claude 2 this week. So Claude is Claude 2 is our next generation large language model. And it's now available, you know, for businesses, really kind of very small to large businesses via our developer console. And individuals can also now play around with it at uh, Claude.ai. And uh, really for Claude 2's release, you know, one of the things that our business users are kind of making use of is using it to upload, uh, you know, files up to 100,000 uh, tokens. Uh, that's, uh, you know, about uh, the length of a short book. Mm -hmm. So if you have earnings reports or business memos or long Zoom transcriptions uh, that you'd like to be summarized, uh, Claude2 is a great partner and tool uh, for being able to do that. Okay, extensive uh, I don't know whether to call it a profile, definitely deep dive in the New York Times uh, in recent days about Anthropic and focusing in on how, I don't want to say doomsday-ish, but very uh, careful you guys are being about the potential negative effects of AI. For investors, to me, that translates into how much should we believe that the hype about AI is going to have an immediate impact or a near-term impact on revenue growth and profits? What is it that AI right now can do that affects business operation in a significant way? And do you see any areas where its near-term potential is being overhyped? So I think really the way we think, you know, about Claude 2 at Anthropic is it's kind of best conceptualized as this very um, helpful, polite, uh, eager, you know, junior assistant. And so I would really think about uh, this tool as something that you can use to save, you know, time and and money and headache, especially on, uh, you know, tasks that kind of, a, you know, a junior employee could do, right? So summarizing, uh, you know, a lot of information, right? Right, over a, a large corpus of text. Um, it can also be used for things like translation. Uh, it can be used for, you know, writing code or doing simple math problems. But really, you know, I think that these tools, uh, we're still sort of in the early days of seeing what they're going to be able to do. But we really do think there's, you know, a, a large amount of potential uh, to be able to just, uh, you know, help uh, provide business value uh, to customers today. You and your brother famously left OpenAI uh, to start Anthropic, a, a different idea behind it. Elon Musk similarly was part of the beginning of OpenAI and is now doing something different. How is Anthropic's ethic around AI different from either of those? So really at, at Anthropic, you know, we have this sort of vision of safety being uh, kind of at the center of the research that we do. And, you know, we've published more than 15 safety research papers, which you can read about on our website uh, at anthropic.com. And this kind of helpful, honest and harmless framework has been really useful for us in thinking about uh, how we want the models, you know, ideally to behave. And of course, you know, no model on the market today is 100% reliable. But really with Claude 2, a lot of what we were aiming to do was, you know, make fundamental progress on, uh, you know, issues around honesty and reliability, around, uh, you know, harmlessness of the text that it outputs, and around helpfulness of really being able to answer questions that uh, businesses and consumers might have. Okay, so how do you feed Claude, <laughs> right? And, and how do you make sure that uh, personal information, privacy violating information is what the FTC seems to be concerned about these days, doesn't end up being a part of it? So, you know, obviously these areas of, you know, data security and, you know, privacy are something that, you know, Anthropic, uh, you know, really takes very seriously. And, and 
what I would say here is that um, obviously, you know, there's a lot of work that goes into, you know, how we train data and output it. Um, but, you know, fundamentally, I think it's it's really important to recognize that unless we're given, you know, permission to, uh, you know, to output, uh, you know, to train on your data or to, um, you know, if you've violated our AUP, those are the only times when we would have, you know, the the sort of opportunity or the right to, to use training data. Otherwise, it won't, you know, be something that we put uh, in, into outputs. And it's obviously an area that's evolving very quickly. And we're working with, you know, policy makers and industry groups to make sure that we're hitting kind of industry marks on.